uh, actually they have provided some assignments if you if you do that assignments and uh, practice in the gym questions you will get definitely well placed in that uh, companies they have provided to you that's my mm-hmm. advice for that Hi guys welcome back to our YouTube channel we are back with a new testimonial video today we have deva with us deva is an acio alumni who recently got placed as an app developer in e labs in manpower services so deva completed his graduation in 2018 uh, in bsc it's been more than a year for him in acio job since he's been studying with us today we will try to understand how he was able to grab this opportunity and how you guys can also do so do make sure that you watch this video till the end and before on moving forward take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos welcome deva uh, congratulations yeah. on finally getting placed uh, as a app developer in e labs manpower uh, can you quickly introduce yourself for our viewers yeah thanks thanks for the opportunity for this uh, my name is deva i am from tamil nadu actually i have did my bsc computer science in uh, 2018 pass out after that i don't have any financial support to learn that uh, development field So I have worked as a desktop support engineer for several two companies. Uh, uh, apart uh, after I have know about the Apple jobs, uh, they are uh, conducting a drive for placement after uh, pay. Uh, so I have interested in that, and I have enrolled to Apple jobs. And I have my uh, learning power, learning journey into front end development. I have completed it this month only. uh from the, uh within two months i have got placed in that uh, elapsed man for company as a app developer uh okay. that's a good good impression that is amazing uh deva so uh yeah. okay so i would like to understand you graduated in 2018 right and yeah. after that you mentioned that you also worked as a support engineer for like 3 4 years yeah, yeah. Right? Mm. so uh why did you uh start developing an interest towards learning coding and how did you get to know about acio job why why did you choose acio job also that you can also tell uh actually acio jobs provide a day to day training task and a uh, lot of assignments and uh, give uh, weekly contest for a uh, student to get uh, achieve in that goal so i have uh, i have research over the in the internet also uh, so all the students who have placed in acio jobs are uh, positive responses and that's uh, like uh, for me for uh, studying in acro jobs so i have mm-hmm. decided to enter in acro jobs and uh, get started in my app developer journey okay great deva so uh, did you also like work as a support engineer throughout your journey in acro job as well or did you just uh, completely full time studied here only and you left the job first three first 3 uh, to 4 months i have worked and uh, do learning in acro jobs also but that time i cannot manage my time to le- full focus in my learning purpose and also they have provided 7 uh, to 9 7 uh, to 11 uh, classes it's uh, good for me and i cannot practice that uh, in the day time so i have decided to uh, from the company and full focus in that uh, learning purpose only so i have uh, left that job for a uh, six month and i have achieved my thing now i am in uh, back uh, now i am learning back end also uh, i have okay. completed front end and i am in back end also okay amazing deva so uh, you mentioned like in the start of it you worked for like to two three months but then you left it because you were not getting enough time to study so yeah. can you uh, tell our viewers like exactly how your schedule was uh, what was it that you used to do regularly and like for for a year what was the schedule that you followed and how was your entire experience with acio job yeah for that uh, in my company in my company of desktop support uh, there is a lot of uh, working hours uh, they have mentioned eight hours but uh, it's almost take uh, 12 to 13 hours so i cannot manage that if you have if you have guys are working in a fixed eight hour shift you can manage with uh, uh, while uh, you are working also you can uh, learn acro jobs also uh, actually they have provided some assignments if you if you do that assignments and uh, practice in the gym questions you will get definitely well placed in that uh, companies they have provided to you that's my mm-hmm. advice for that Okay. You have and to learn, and uh, you have to practice all that uh, they have they have given to you. 
okay so uh, deva what was your schedule like like uh, because obviously uh, when the people get placed uh, they use a lot uh, of the features in portal right uh, a lot of the people use gym section a lot of the people make use mm. of doubt section so what was that one thing that you were using the most throughout your entire journey i have used the gym sections and uh, solved 300 plus uh, dsa questions that's a lesser count but uh, that's enough for me uh, you hmm. you guys are there is a lot of questions uh, over uh, 2000 questions plus also there is in gym question you have to practice that and uh, they have provide a video call doubt session also you can use hmm. it uh, for any time that uh, that will help you crack that uh, questions also you have to understand that uh, from top companies questions also they have provided to practice uh, that's an amazing thing from micro jobs i think i have scheduled uh, i have make uh, different times in that uh, in that company i have left it after uh, i have make uh, for three hours to practice gym questions or uh, lead code problem solving and after some after that uh, i have uh, spend two hours to get our uh, for uh, sub sub session like uh, hr and uh, uh, verbal english communication also they that's also provider from aqua jobs it's a yeah. great thing for understood okay deva so before finally getting placed in this company how many companies did you sit for i have applied uh, 11 companies uh, i have applied 11 companies uh, there is some uh, issues with uh, getting pressures placed in some companies so the recruitment was passed for some times i have mm-hmm. attended two of uh, interviews uh, in that uh, company i have placed with uh, one uh, another companies are old and uh, the process is still going on okay okay and were you also applying uh, in companies off campus or through aqua job only aqua jobs only i have applied in uh, off campus they are uh, they can't uh, even viewing our profiles also Mm-hmm. that is uh, i have to send a lot of mails and uh, a lot of applications through naipuri and uh, uh, internal also for the internship also uh, but i not get uh, any return, reply mails okay okay understood deva so now let's talk a little bit about your interview experience at this company uh, can you tell us from the beginning like how was the entire selection process like how many interview rounds were there what kind of questions were asked uh, in the technical round as well as the hr yeah uh, there is uh, three rounds uh, first one is technical round uh, first uh, they have shortlisted my resume for that uh, that's one first Uh, we mm-hmm. have a resume builder session also from the aqua jobs i have used that session for uh, developing my resume into get shortlisted that uh, okay. that's one useful for me uh, after that uh, they have technical sessions uh, i have attend 6 um, 6 to 7 uh, mocks also in the when i have learned into aqua jobs that's provide that helps to me to crack that the technical interview also the for basic javascript dsa questions and has basic theory questions from html css uh, and javascript uh, also uh, that's a technical round after that they provide me assignment for uh, doing some uh, assignment part i have i have i am also doing that with the uh, help of my project sessions also i have do with aqua jobs that's help helpful me for uh, crack that uh, assignment also after that they have provide uh, the technical round too also uh, in that uh, it's very easy to crack that uh, technical round they are uh, uh, they are asking for uh, how the project work how the flow of uh, the software development like life cycles work that's a the thing they have asked uh, that's also i have learned from that uh, back end and front end technologies from the aqua jobs uh, instructors that will helps me to crack that uh, company interview that's the three three round of uh, only the, they have conducted for me that process okay okay understood there so uh, when is your joining in this company uh, joining date will be 3 october 2023 okay so joining uh, there is some time in joining so will you be yeah. studying with aqua job uh, like uh, during this time or you want to give yourself some break for some time yeah i have to complete the back end also uh, i am eagerly wait for the dsa board also I mm-hmm. have to continue with that course to learn all that uh, from that course. Mm-hmm. Please. Okay. 
understood deva so do you have any like future plans as of now or you want to continue like abhi focus on this job only or you are also like applying to other better opportunities in future or because you are obviously learning back in now as well so you are going yeah. to be a full stack developer full so stack developer any, yeah any plans for yeah, any other that yeah. full stack development is my goal uh, now i now i am achieve my front end development course and i get a uh, job in placed Uh, from that company i have learned with and thoroughly what about the experience gained from the company i have to learn uh, after that i have decided my back i am also want to learn that back end journey uh, mm-hmm. after that, uh, that getting full experience from that uh, full uh, front end development after mm-hmm. some of uh, several years after the, that some time i i want to become a full stack developer that's my entire goal in mind okay Carry. amazing amazing deva so uh, one last question that i would like to ask from you uh, that there are a lot of uh, students like you in our boot camp right who did not yeah. do beat in their graduation and they have a lot of career gap uh, right but they somehow do want to start with their coding journey but they are a little bit hesitant about it that if they are going to get placed or not and because you also took a lot of time right it's been more than a year for you so people get yeah. impatient right so what advice do you have for such students who have a career gap who did not do beat but they want to start a career in coding what advice would you like to give to them uh, the great advice uh, from me uh, is that consistency in your work uh, that is the best advice uh, hmm. the uh, echo just provide all the things for you but uh, you uh, you want to manage the time and uh, work consistent consistently in your way uh, that's hmm. only to be get, get success in your goal uh, that's my advice for the students who have enrolled in the echo jobs great i think being consistent that would be uh, the yeah, best advice yeah. anyone can have you have to daily work out the uh, 10 to 15 uh, gym questions that's the flow of interview you can crack any companies hmm. with this uh, practice that's okay. my great great deva thank you so much uh, again for taking out time to do this with us i hope people listening to you will find inspiration and start their coding journey as soon as possible and yeah thank yeah. you so much again. Thank you thank you so much for uh, our actual talks That is it for today's video guys I hope you all liked it with Deva and find inspiration from him doesn't matter if you guys have your gaps you can just still start with your coding journey and if you have an interest interest in enrolling in akio jobs course just go to our website and take the aptitude test the test will help you identify which course is best for you be it one stack or java full stack both the courses have amazing instructors from top it companies uh, which who will help you throughout your coding journey so just visit the link uh, provided in the description below and start your coding journey and if you guys are new to the channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you're always notified on all our upcoming videos uh, thank you so much and see you in the next one